Hi, everybody. The generations are back. Hello. Jeff and Jim. I'm Jeff. I'm Jim. <laughs> and we're here uh, with some more of figuring out what makes my musical brain tick. And uh, in most of our videos, Jeff introduces me to some new uh, music or a new artist or something to to see if that appeals to me, to see if I like it or not. Some of which I've liked, some of which not so much. But another part of putting that puzzle together is playing uh, some numbers that I definitely like, that are on my playlist and that I like a lot to give Jeff and the audience an idea of the things that I do like and what appeals to me to help in the search for more stuff that I like. So today uh, I've got a selection to share. You may have heard it. Uh, it it's not an obscure song, but it's not uh, some real popular thing. And the, the band, I think it was about the only big hit they had. Uh, the band is called The Blend. Uh, they were from the uh, Northeast, like Maine or something. And they were mainly big in that region. Um, they had a few albums out. They were around, I think, early 70s. And... Um, this uh, particular number is called The Prize, and it, it matches uh, a couple of the categories we've talked about uh, before. It tells a story, um, which is a neat little story. A, sto it, a story about a prize? Yes. <laughs> How did you guess that? You are so intuitive. But you... You, you would have trouble figuring out what the prize is until you hear it. But yeah, it's about uh, winning a prize. And it has that change in tempo thing where it starts off easy and then goes and goes. It's a seven minute song. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope uh, it spurs our listeners to come up with uh, more suggestions and give everybody an idea of what I like. Okay, so the uh, the prize by The Blend uh, and um, seven minute song, so buckle your seatbelts. Uh, thanks for the heads up about the, the slow intro. So, uh, uh, you know, be patient, go with it. Here we go, we ready? Let's do it. Yeah, let it roll.
have the cost. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore that part in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, edit that. Um, okay, interesting. Um, the bear. That's the prize. Yeah, but did he kill him or not? Um, you know, that remains unclear. Because, you know, he was going on about, like, what a, what a majestic creature, you, you know, kind of a thing. It's like, well, you're not going to kill him. Well, so then what was the prize? Yeah, I mean, that that's what he came for. That's what he meant to do. And it, it, it's like so many movie scenes we've seen where somebody goes out for their first hunt. And, oh, boy, I'm going to be a man. I'm going to kill this deer or this bear or something. And they get there and they see what a beautiful creature it is and don't want to kill it. I got a feeling he didn't kill it. Well, let's go with that. Let's go with that he didn't kill it. All right. So then what's the prize then? So then the prize must have been sort of the heart expansion that he received from connecting with nature. Well, no, the, the, the prize was what he was after and decided that that was not the prize he wanted after all. Okay. All right. I like that. I'll go with that. But I, I really like the, the drive, the guitars, the, the, the whole thing. That's one of my very favorites. Huh. I, I don't think I've ever heard that song. Really? Um, no. And uh, What did you think of it? Well, it, uh, it's interesting because, um, you know, it does have that sort of old school KC95 St. Louis feel, which is a little bit of a sort of a Southern rock kind of a thing, you know, like sort of... Um, Marshall Tucker band, uh, you know, yeah. um, little Molly Hatchet ish kind of, uh, you know, that sort of, yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, especially the end, you know, the guitar part, I liked uh, when they got kind of rocking. Um, you know, I mean, it was decent <laughs> from from my from my. Uh, vantage point i mean it's a little surprising that that's like one of your favorite songs of all time it's like huh all right okay it's way up there interesting i mean i liked it so it was interesting because i was i was i pulled that up on youtube um too which is why there was a little commercial there at the end that little snippet of a commercial uh because i couldn't find it on spotify didn't exist on spotify which oh, is interesting sorry. um but so i pulled it up on youtube and uh, it looked like, you know, the um, whoever posted it up there was from St. Louis. Uh, I'm wondering if this is a St. Louis band. No, they're. Uh, oh, you said uh, you said from the Northeast. Yeah, yeah, Maine, I believe. But it very well could be that that Casey played it big, um, whereas a lot of uh, regional stations may not have so uh, i mean you know there there were a lot of uh bands and songs that casey made big around the midwest that didn't get big somewhere else casey was a uh, uh formula formative influence in the region uh, rock and roll media influencer yeah, yeah. Um, now, that's uh, the, pretty much uh, most, if not all, of what we've covered so far would be considered rock. Um, in in the future, when uh, when we do videos where I present something that that's in my library that I like. I'm I'm going to veer away from the rock and get into some of the other types that are interesting. Yeah, good point. Uh, we should look at some other uh, some other genres uh, and see because I know there's some other stuff that you like that you know '80s radio pop songs that you like that, that I'm aware of. You know, that's like okay. Um, there's some new wave things that you like, you know. Um, I guess that would also kind of fit mostly in the 80s, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm curious. Uh, 
about that. I think that's a good idea. I think we should do that. So, Very good. so okay. So even though this is already a song on your list and a song that you already, you know, um, enjoy, you, st you still got to give it a, a, a ranking or a, a, a rating. Um, okay. Well, you first. Okay. Um, ooh. Uh, I think a five. Really? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like if it came on the radio, I'd probably, well, I don't have the radio on ever, but if I listened to the radio and this song came on, I'd probably leave it on. Um, I'm probably, I, I probably would, I don't see myself ever seeking it out. I'll be darned. Yeah. I, on the other hand, give it nine, nine and a half. Whoa. I, I mean, like it a lot. That, that's easy, easily the highest score you've given anything that we've talked about. I think I gave something else, uh, uh, something in that range. Uh, I mean, the BG song you may have given pretty. That might have been, uh, that might have been the one. I might have given that like a nine. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Um, I'll be curious to see what our viewers have to uh, have to say about that song or uh, uh, and especially if they know some songs that have a similarity to it that we might enjoy. Okay, and it sounds like our uh, our agenda, if if there is such a thing, is going to be to move beyond seventies rock and roll. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, uh, we, I mean, we have done a couple of things. We've we've looked at Jeff Buckley and we've looked at uh, Radiohead, and so you know, we we have kind of ventured outside of there. So. And we won't leave rock and roll altogether, but we'll throw some other stuff in there. All right. Sounds like a plan. All right. You guys know what to do. Like us. <laughs> like us. Please, please like me. <laughs> they like me. <laughs> they really like me. Uh uh, we appreciate uh, anybody and everybody watching our video, though. It's fun. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for the love, guys. And um, we will see you on the next one. All right. Bye.